Welcome to the new studios. Base. I thought I was finished. This was supposed to be a bathroom here, and I see the freaking hell. Uh, oh, my back. Uh, definitely stiff. When you fast forward like that, oh, you can definitely feel it. Like six months of work in a matter of second. Wow, take a look at this base, huh? Turned out pretty good. I'm just gonna sit down here and rest for a bit, and you can enjoy the process. When I started the last build out, I started out by laying down the floor beams. And this was a huge mistake. This is something that I should have done later in the build out, but you know, you learn stuff the more you do it. So this time around, we are going to start at the opposite end. I think by doing it this way, everything will be way more efficient. And I think that the whole build out is going to go a lot quicker than it did last time around. Still trying to figure out how I'm going to build this wall, but I want to have like planks going down like that. Don't know what the best approach is, but we're definitely going to try to make it work. Hi, Dad. The wise words today don't forget to breathe because that's the most important in this life. <laughs> True that.
actually kind of fascinated how much you can learn if you just try stuff. For me, it's mostly been looking at YouTube videos and just trying to do what people do in the videos and that has worked. And I think that it is extremely cool that we have the possibility to actually do that in this day and age. If you watched the renovation of the previous studio space, then you probably know that in the middle and then to the sides, it was a difference of around 20 centimeters. And in this space, it's kind of the same. So when you look at it, you see that here in the middle, we don't have that much of a difference between the studs and the floor. But moving out to this side, you can see that it differs approximately 10 to 15 centimeters in total. So for me to be able to get a smooth level floor, I needed to raise it up and this also helps me with being able to do some electricity connections with some new outlets in the walls. And I can just make sure that everything is connected through the floor instead of having to go under the actual floor that is already there. And since this space was not insulated to begin with, it was extremely cold to be here during the winter months. And that is why I had to insulate the walls and the ceiling. And the reason I use this kind of insulation is because if I were to use traditional like rock wool and that kind of stuff, that would mean that I would have to use a thicker insulation in the ceiling and the ceiling would come down to approximately this level instead of being like 15 to 20 centimeters more in space. If you're thinking about renovating your attic space and if you want to make sure that you don't lose too much headroom or wall space and anything like that, but still want some good insulation, this is the stuff. Even though I wish I was entirely done, unfortunately I'm not. This wall behind me is still a drywall. I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna put as a wooden panel right here, but I'm probably not gonna have time for that until like the fall. So I thought I'd just show you how it turned out. So we got a nice, uh, I don't know what you say, but in the Swedish we say Rekke, so that you don't fall down the stairs. On the stairs, I haven't cleaned them yet, but on the to-do list to fix these. We have a nice, TV, I'm thinking about a sofa right here. And then a little bit of a storage space. And of course, I mean like, can't be Peter Lindgren without all the Philips Hue. This is by far one of the best things though, the door. So during the summer, if you wanna have some fresh air, you can just, boy, look at this one, oh, it's coming in. And it's also pretty cool because the sunset is right there during the summer. So there's a sunset coming into this part of the studio. The downside though is that it's at around like 10.30, 11 p.m. So I can't be around when the sunset is, but during the winter, it's gonna look good. I didn't really get around to do this because this is one of the most time consuming things that I've ever tried to do. But shower, toilet, sink, warm water heater, and that's gonna be it. It's not like I'm gonna shoot videos from the throne, but Good to know. <laughs> One of my favorite things is this table though. Check it out. 
I wanted to have a table that looked like this so that I can take a couple of thumbnails and then store the most essential things right here so that you can get a nice flat lay on this tabletop. And then also that you can fold it down. That's just so good. This thing though, I'm not entirely sure. I have whiskey in here right now, but I'm not really feeling the vibe of this thing. And it was more like a, one of those, oh, need to have because it looked cool. But then once I unboxed it here in the studio, it was like, I'm just, I don't know, it doesn't really fit here. What do you think? Do drop a comment down below and say, should I keep the globe or not? Overall, I think the space turned out really good and it's gonna be very fun to like settle in to this space when the fall arrives. But I just wanna say thank you to you for making this possible because without you, it wouldn't be. And thank you once again for watching my videos and enjoying what I do. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That'd be highly appreciated. And if you're watching me for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. That'd also be appreciated. Peter from Sweden is gonna take a well-deserved rest in this armchair, and then we're back at it tomorrow.